Well, as you guys can see, what we have here, it is the Hobby Wing Quick Run Crawler ESC 80 amp. This is for one tenth and one eighth scale rock crawler. Uh, good for two to three S lipo. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some programming show. I wanna show my setup on a program and uh, hopefully this will help you guys out to be able to program your vehicles. Let's go ahead and check it out and get it done. All right, well, when you guys first get the box, you're gonna have your Quick Run Hobby Wing 1080 ESC in the box with your brushed wires for your brush motor, your power lead for your battery, an on-off switch, and then the uh, receiver cord that goes into your receiver. Uh, it's gonna come with a program card if you order the one with the program card. And the plug-in to plug it in to the ESC. Uh, it comes with necessary paperwork. Uh, if you guys can see, this writing is very, very small. Man, you need uh, binoculars to be able to see the writing on that. So we're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna show you the best setup on a Hobby Wing ESC. Uh, comes with another piece of paper just kind of explaining a few things uh, comes with some heat shrink some two-sided tape to be able to stick it to your truck or and your switch and man this is the most important thing we all like stickers comes with stickers as well awesome okay Enough checking out everything that's in here. Uh, on your program boxes, it's everything's broke down right here for you on what each thing is, okay? We're gonna go over each one of these steps and we're gonna program this ESC on this G-Made Buffalo. So that's what we're gonna work on. First, first step, you are gonna take your program card with your cable. Now, we're gonna take this, plug it into the ESC. Uh, pay attention to your wire in here. We all know the white wire is your signal wire. So, white wire goes closest to the LED light. So black wire is gonna be furthest out here. Depending on how you got your ESC set up. We're gonna plug that in. Battery's plugged in. We're gonna turn the truck on. We've got the truck up off the ground, so it's just in case this thing decides to go, hey, I'm gonna party. Okay, you see item number one, value three. That one is forward brake, forward reverse brake, forward reverse. That's what we're set up on, forward reverse best thing for a crawler next one battery type item item number two battery type lipo or nickel metal hydride if most people are running the lipo you want it on two one make sure you're on one for lipo so you'd be able to have the uh, lipo cut off so you're not going to hurt your battery and we're going to get into the setting up the lipo cut off so we don't have to worry about it and that's on step three this is the best setup i have found for these escs item three number three three we got disabled auto auto medium and auto high uh, auto medium means uh, your voltage cutoff will be right about 3.4 volts per cell and that's right about the sweet spot. If you go into the auto low, 
you're looking at about 3.1 uh, to 3.0 and that's pretty much a no-no. You don't want to hurt the lipos, you don't want to get them swelled up. So I'd go with three. Keep it at the medium, that would be your best thing. Uh, number four, item four, four, five, okay. Initial start force. This is when you're going to get ready to start. Uh, the best optimal one would be number one. Start it at zero. We're going to change this. So you want to hit value, 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 boom. Now you're at one. When you get to your desired number, hit OK. Now that's programmed in there. That's ready. Now we're initial start force is one so what that means is when you start squeezing that trigger when you just start moving the truck will start moving slow you have way more throttle control okay next item max forward force five four that's exactly what you want you want that all the way up just in case you need to get yourself out of a jam or a pickle you have that power Okay, next item. Item six, value three. Item six is max reverse force. We want max reverse force. We want that turned all the way up to four. So now we want to go value okay six four next one number seven number seven max break force we want that all the way up to 100 percent we want it to number nine 100 percent that's what we want item number eight what is number eight? Internal brake force. Uh, number eight, we want on five. So value, okay. Pretty simple. Uh, number nine, drag brake. You know, everybody knows what drag brake is. We want to be able to keep that truck from falling down the hill as we're going while we're descending or if we're going uphill. We want it to kind of hold there if we have to let go of the gas and move around to get to a different spot. So we want to change that. Number eight to five. We want that all the way turned up. Yeah, we got that. Wait. Internal brake force. Number eight. Yep. Number nine. Forgot to change it. Number nine. Nine for nine. Hmm, sorry, I was trying to get ahead of you guys. Okay. Number ten. 10. We want that on a 4. Drag brake rate. A level 4. We don't want to go crazy with it. We don't want to, you know, have it where it's not going to operate properly. But that seems to be the sweet spot. 10, 4. Uh, these are going to get you right in the ballpark. You can play with the numbers just a little bit back and forth on some of these if you would like. To get exactly your driving style but i have found this to be the best setup for a crawler uh number 11 number 11 is neutral range we got that on number four we want to change that to a one so we want to go value 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 Till we get back to number one. That's the best optimal setting right there is number one. Then we're going to hit OK. Number 12. Item number 12. We want this turned all the way up. Start mode punch. Because if you guys get yourself into trouble. Uh, get up on a rock or a hillside. You want to be able to have that power like that. But you want to still be able to control your throttle as you're crawling or you're trailing. 
So that's the best setup, I think. So you have the power when you're ready for the power. So we want to change this to number nine. Okay, value, value, value. Okay. Then we want to hit okay. Number 13 is going to be PWM frequency. What this means is I actually had to ask a couple people because I wasn't 100% sure what this means. But you know that whining you get in your motor when you're slowly crawling? That irritating whining? Well, that number 13 will get rid of that noise. It'll help where you can't hear it. So if you don't mind it, put it whatever you want. If you don't like it, Put that thing all the way up as high as it'll go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change mine all the way up as high as it'll go. Because I don't want to listen to that stuff. Good smooth operation of the motor. We don't want to hear all that noise. Uh, number 14. This one's to your BEC voltage. These ESCs have a BEC in it. Uh, this... What this means is it controls your servos. These are power to your servos. Your steering servo, if you got dual steering servo, just make sure your servos, what voltage your servos are. Right now, I have a 7.4 volt servo in the front steering, but I only have a 6 volt shifter servo. So you know what that means. I cannot change the voltage on it to help this the steering servo out. Because I'll fry this servo. So, keep that in mind. Check your voltage on all your servos to make sure it can handle the 7.4 volts. 7.4 volts, it'll be way better if you can handle it. Uh, maybe you can change your other servo to a 7.4 volt servo. Then you can have it. You know, the steering would be much more responsive. Uh, be have more power be able to turn easier and faster and better and stronger. So keep that in mind. Number 15. Number 15 is free wheeling. We want to enable that value. We want to enable that. Okay. Now, once you get everything in that you want to get in, you will power the truck off. Everything goes out. Then you can unplug this. And then. Let's get to the right vehicle on my controller. See, now I can go very easy. And now I have the perfect crawl speed. Now how slow is that? That's much better. Awesome. That concludes this video of the Hobby Wing 1080 Quick Run Crawler Brushed ESC 80 Amp 1 tenth and 1 eighth. Uh, available on Amazon. Uh, check the description box below for a link to this ESC. I appreciate it everybody. Gonna catch you on the next episode. Have a good one.